Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Johnny, and if this is your first time watching, I show you how to make money in the stock market. So if you like that kind of stuff, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you don't miss anything. Alright, so just like the title says, I believe that Mueller Water, or ticker symbol MWA, is a strong buy, and let me tell you why. Now, first off, first glance, you see that the stock is at $11.74. Now, this is a good company to get involved with at such a low share price. Um, for all of you who don't know about Mueller Water Products, Inc., they engage in manufacturing and selling of products used in transmission, distribution, and measurement of water. It operates through the infrastructure and technologies segments. So um, the CEO is J. Scott Hall. Their market cap is $1.86 billion. They have 2,600 employees currently. They have a very nice price earnings ratio that I'm comfortable with at 18.90. They're headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, and they were founded in 2005. Now, their dividend yield is also very nice at 1.17%. Um, you know, a lot of times you don't see smaller, well, I wouldn't say smaller, but a, a lower share price company uh, with a lower dividend yield like this with such a high market cap. Their, their market cap's in the billions, so they have a lot of money. Uh, to work with their average volume right now is a little bit low um, they're kind of right below the million dollar mark um, some of their collections is manufacturing engineering gas oil and gas fuel fossil fuels and of course US and North America um, moving on their Average price paid right now is around eleven eighty. Um, it's just slightly below that. It says zero percent. Now they have had a fifty-two week low of nine dollars and fifty-nine cents, as well as a fifty-two week high of twelve dollars and ninety-nine cents. So there is, um, you know, a bit of a risk reward kind of opportunity here. I do believe it's a strong buy. Some of the analysts here, um, 11 ratings uh, are saying 55% is a buy, 36% is a hold, and 9% is a sell. Now, that isn't that bad. Um, I do believe this is a strong company to get involved with. They have a nice earnings. Um, their estimated earnings was at 19 cents per share, and they nailed it right on the dot. Actual earnings per share was 19 cents per share for the quarter to 2018. Now, this is a somewhat, uh, you know, borderlining a um, strong buy to almost a hold. Now, it doesn't have an A-plus rating. The street rating actually gives it a B. And let me explain why they did that. So their annual dividend yield, of course, like we said, is the 1.71%. Their annual dividend rate right now is 20 cents. Um, you know, that's not a heck of a lot. But they are paying the div they are paying the investors a dividend, so that means they are comfortable um, basically giving out some of those profits. Um, now their target price is at thirteen dollars and forty seven cents, but this also hasn't had a rating since April 29th, two thousand fifteen, is what this is saying. So it's not current. It uh, doesn't seem current at all besides, of course, the graph. I guess maybe the street just feels like they haven't wanted to rate it for whatever reason. Um, but as you can see through the rating history all the way, it's been out of buy. Um, you know, I believe that they can get up to that 1347 target price. Um, and I believe now that I'm looking at it, they've had this rating since 
2015. I'm sorry. Let me recorrect myself. They've had a buy rating since April 29th, 2015, which is pretty good. That's the last three years. Now, with that said, um, they say it's a buy because of uh, positives, which um, would believe to have a greater impact than most of the weaknesses. Now, the company's strengths can be seen in multiple areas, such as its revenue growth, largely solid financial positions with reasonable debt levels by most measures, good cash flow from operations, and notable return on equity. We feel its strengths outweigh the fact that the company has had subpart growth in net income. Some of the company's highlights for MWA is that it slightly increased its revenue growth from last year by 7.8%. Um, this has helped. Um, it does not appear that it has helped with the earnings per share. It's been declining. But, on the other hand, the debt-to-equity ratio is somewhat lower, currently at 0.83%, and that can help with success in the efforts to collect management of their debt levels. Net operating cash flow has significantly increased by 60%. That is a nice highlight right there, and that got up to 68%. 0.50%, which is pretty cool. Now, that does give them a vastly surpassed industry average cash rate of only 0.61%. Now, their earnings per share also declined by 33%. This is another highlight that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, compared to last year, this company has reported uh, somewhat volatility earnings recently, but um, they basically didn't meet what they needed to meet. Um, they went from 34 versus 27 the prior year, and they're expected to improve to 55 from 34. So we'll see what happens there. Um, the earnings per share, though, said they're at 19 cents per share, just to be clear on that. Um, also, the industry analysis for the machinery, um, you know, is somewhat okay. Um, at the moment, some of the key players for the industry is Caterpillar, Deer, Illinois Toolworks, Cummings, FlowServe and Ingersoll Rand. Those are some of the highlights there. Now, although Mueller Water Products Inc. or ticker symbol MWA is basically making a net income of $99 million, close to a billion dollars, they have quite a bit of net sales as well at $888 million. They have a very low PE ratio, a nice billion dollar market cap almost two, and a very low share price to get involved in this. Now, some of their factors for this stock at a glance is growth four out of five stars, total return four out of five stars, efficiency four and a half out of five stars, price volatility three and a half out of five stars, solvency three out of five stars, and income three and a half out of five stars. So this is pretty much borderlining a buy, strong buy. Now I did categorize it as a strong buy and that's basically because I do believe because of the share price, it's a good opportunity to get involved in such a big company. Market cap, guys, 1.8 billion. It's almost $2 billion right there. The gross profit margin has significantly increased over time and their quick ratio is 3.7 percent which clearly shows the ability to cover any short-term cash needs now the company's liquidity has decreased slightly from the past year but the stockholders equity has also increased by 16 percent so they are attracting 
eyes to investing in this company, which is a great thing to do. Now, I believe this company is a strong buy to get involved with. Water products aren't going anywhere, guys, anytime soon. This company obviously has a nice, clean record of profits and now increasing their earnings per share to 19%. I would declare this as a strong buy. Do your own research, decide what you want to do, but I give this a rating of a strong buy. All right, so guys, I hope you guys have a great trading week, great night, and enjoy the rest of the weekend, night, whatever it is. All right, you guys have a great day.